Hi, this is Jennifer at the Angleton Library. Welcome to Make It Monday Adult Edition. For May, the craft we're making is an origami flower, like this one. And if you read the program description, you should know that you don't need to have origami paper to make the flower. If you have wrapping paper, or newspaper, or even office paper, you can use that to make the flower. You'll just need to make it into a square using a pair of scissors before you start folding. And I think maybe now I should show you how to fold the flower. Well, I'm going to demonstrate how to make this flower with regular origami paper. I thought I'd show you first how to get a square piece of paper easily if you're starting off with two rectangular pieces. A line, a short edge with a long edge with two pieces of paper and then just cut off all the paper that sticks out past the edge of the top piece. Voila! A piece of square paper. But this is what I'm going to use because I think you'll be able to see more clearly all the folds and the fold I'm starting off with, which was unintentional. Okay, first thing you're going to do is fold the paper in half along the diagonal. And I'm trying to match up the edges as well as I can here. The more closely everything is to perfectly folded, the better the result. You'll probably see as I go along that this is not going to be perfect. Perfection is only something we can strain for, not actually attain. All right, so you get that fold and you crease along the edge and then open it up and fold it along the other diagonal. Press in the crease. And open it back up. All right. And if you're familiar with origami, what we're doing next is a cushion base. If you're not, you're going to take one of the tips and fold it to the center. These creases that we just made make an X here in the middle. And you'll just fold that tip so that it meets the X. And I'm not going to crease it in because I want to try to make sure that the next corner, which I'm also going to fold in, is meets it evenly. So I'm going to sort of test fit those. And once everything looks right, then I will press in the creases along the edge. Okay. And then I'm going to turn the paper and I'm going to fold in the next tip to meet the center. Okay, sort of looking like an envelope now, isn't it? And as you might guess, I'm going to take that last tip and fold it into the center. And I'm going to go around the edge and just Crease everything a little more strongly. And then the next step, I'm going to take one of these points and fold it in toward the center. I'll do the same thing I did on the first folds where I test fit, make sure that the edges are going to meet as close as I can get them. And then turn it and fold the next point inward. Press down the crease. You don't actually have to turn the paper, I just find it easier to fold when the edge I'm folding is closer to me. All right. Okay. 
look, there's my predicted imperfection. I think it'll still work out. The next thing to do is turn the paper over. And this is the base of the flower. We're going to, uh, sorry, this is the top of the flower. The other side is the base. <laughs> okay, this is going to look familiar. You're going to take one of the points and fold it in toward the center. Once again, I'm going to test fit and try to get them as closely aligned as possible. Looks all right. Kind of like a little miniature paper airplane. And then fold in the next tip. And then the next one. And I'm going to go all around the edge again to try to crease that a little more strongly. The paper's getting very thick and harder to fold. Next step, with each of these points of the square, you're going to take a little bit. I'm sorry, that's not more precise. The tip and fold it inward. It doesn't have to lie flat. It wouldn't with this thickness of paper, even if you needed it to. All right. And once you've done all four, it'll look something like that. This next step is the trickiest part of the whole flower. What you're going to do is turn it over and on the base, do you see these sections? These are going to become your petals. So we're going to start with this petal and we'll fold it toward the edge of the flower, crease that, and then you're going to work from the top of the flower. Pinch the tip you folded here and the back between your thumb and index finger. I'm sliding my index finger under the petal a little bit. That'll help give me the right leverage. Using your other hand, you're going to grasp the tip of the petal and pull it slowly but firmly toward the top of the flower. And it'll unfold like so. It's very easy <laughs> to rip the paper along here as you're doing that. If it's a small rip, keep going. It'll probably be disguised by the outer petals. If it's a big one, you may want to start over. All right, so we're going to do the next petal. From the back or bottom, fold the petal outward and crease it. And then you're going to pinch that folded tip and the base between your thumb and index finger. Hold on to the tip of the petal and gently and firmly, you're pushing down with your thumb a little bit too to help it along. Pull that petal upward. Okay. Next petal. Fold it outward and crease it. Pinch. Push down with your thumb as you're pulling this petal upward. Ooh, this one feels like it might rip. Ah, it didn't rip. Whew. All right. Next petal. Fold it outward and crease. Pinch the base. Oh, that one tore a little bit. I think I'll keep going though. Pull it upward. Yeah, see, there is a little tear there, but it's going to be okay. I'm going to keep going. Perfection just isn't attainable, like I said. Now we're going to do the outer petals. Once again, from the bottom of the flower, fold the petal outward and crease it. Pinch the base and gently pull upward on the tip of the petal. Repeat it on the next petal. From the base, fold it outward and crease it. Pinch the base and pull upward, pushing down with the thumb from the top. I think that may be a key. All right, fold the petal, next petal outward. Pinch the base, pull upward. 
Last one. Fold it outward, crease it, pinch the base, and pull it upward. Whoa. Okay, next step, if you would like, you can omit this one if you like the look of a more bud-like flower that's nearly closed. Or you can take something cylindrical. I'm using a knitting needle here, but you could use a pencil or a skewer. And I'm just going to roll the tip of that outer petal over using the knitting needle in this case. Pencil, whatever you have. And I'll do that for all of these outer petals so you get a peek of the other side of the paper. And there you have it. An origami flower with one slightly ragged petal. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this craft. And if you make one of your own, we'd love if you shared a photo of it in our comments on the video. Um, See you next time. Thank you.